Good day everyone, welcome to Studio 39 Design Studio. This is Richmond speaking, your resident architect. In this video, I want to create a exterior day bed using Archicad. So I wanted to see you have uh, different types of day beds, but what I'm looking for, what I'm looking to create is something along these lines or you know something along these lines so i have a design in mind i'm going to be creating it in archicad uh, so before i continue i'd like to encourage you guys to like comment and subscribe to this channel because i'm doing videos like this every week and also in the comment section do tell me what you'd like to see on this channel moving forward now with that said let's just get into it so for this one uh i don't really have uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really going to be using, let's say, just a 3D drafting. Uh, do I have a, a 3D drafting? 3D, 3D, 3D. Okay, let's just control L. I'm gonna add a new layer, 3D drafting. That's it, and then I'm going to start with the base. I do have a design in mind. Uh, the base is going to, I'm going to select structure. I'm just gonna create this uh, simple structure, and uh, I'm going to be using the uh, uh, geometric ro rotated rectang rectangle so I can go. I want it to be three meters by three meters. that wrong so uh, 300 that's going to be 2700 3 meters and I want to set it with the reference plane from bottom and I want the height to be 100 so this one and then I want to create a column and uh, the column also, um, the column actually, let me just go into the column and I'm going to select 3D drafting for this one. I want everything to be 3D drafting so that it goes into one layer if I end up pulling it into another pro project. I think it's safe, so let's say new uh, 3D drafting. Yes, that's it. So okay. Now I can go 3D drafting. I'm just gonna click this in here. Also change this to 3D drafting. Uh, I'm gonna click on uh, settings and then I'm gonna say uh, top column and link so that I can set up the height myself so I know that I want it I want this thing to be uh, this day, day, day bed to be three meters high but the top and bottom will have to be okay so I'm gonna say three meters minus 100 so it's gonna be 2.9 um, some other settings what I wanna do is the symbol type be sort of like an X and I uh, really don't care much about anything else other than the, the dimensions here and they are linked so there it is and I'm gonna place it on each corner and the height from the floor for each of these is going to be 100 because of the base and I'm gonna place it on every corner Now, with that said, I'm um, going to go ahead and go to the first door and then say, uh, no, I'm going to right click this, the, the, the ground floor layout and then show as a trace reference. 
so that I can do the top section and for the top section I'm going to be using the beam tool and with the beam tool I'm going to be uh, the thickness of it is going to be 100 and then uh, I'm gonna offset uh, offset from the floor I'm gonna say zero for that and then the uh, sort of like the thickness and offset is going to be the thickness alone is going to be 100 uh, I'm gonna set the offset to center which is going to be zero which is fine with me uh, set the layer so that we have the same layer across the board uh, what else do I want to add in okay so uh, what I do want is home store is going to be dead the, the, the story number one which is currently the current one and what I, what else would I want to add in here so that uh, Okay, so show story, so home story only. That's fair enough with me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this type of geometry method. And there you go. Now uh, let's F3 to go to 3D view. There you go. Let me see if it's actually the right hat in 3D. You can measure in architect. So it's three point. So I want it to be just a little lower. So what I can do is I can click this and uh, check the settings mm, and then say minus 100 here. And there you go. Uh, in fact, for these columns, let me group them. I'm gonna group these and uh, suspend the grouping for for now which is alt g and then i just want them to be just below right there okay now what i want to do is i want to set up the materials right away so i'm just going to be using a basic oak and then for this one also just some basic oak that the beams across I'm going to be setting them also link this and then go for a basic oak so I have this the frame right now what else would I want to show I'll go to this area suspend the grouping and then I want a section, a segment there, and a segment there, and a segment there. So I can just control U to multiply, and then I can uh, sort of like use the increment tool. Uh, the increment tool I only do one to one, but distribution is best. Uh, and uh, the, this distribution does not allow the last one to be indicated, so I can use that from center. Okay, so I'm using the wrong one, so I'm supposed to be using this one, I think. Uh, distribution also. Oh, that's the right one. Center to center, so I know for a fact that this is centered. And these two, I also want to distribute to the center on the sides. Center to center, so I know for a fact that these two are centered. With that said, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to group them all. And then now what I want to do is to set in some sort of like some vertical shading, some shade of uh, shading element basically. And then uh, this shading element I'm going to be using the beam also, uh, the beam element. Uh, right away, let's set the I'll set it to wood, the surface texture. And then uh, the height of this is going to be uh, different. I want, I want it to be 30, and I also want this portion, uh, sort of like the thickness, to also be 30. In fact, I want it to be 35. My like bad. And I only want to show it from here to there. And then I can say Control Shift M for mirror a copy. We'll talk about the shortcuts on another video and then I want to also mirror a copy that side and I can also use 
control shift m to mirror a copy to the other side of this go to drag d um, sorry about that so now what i want to do is i want to group these group and then i can set offset it uh, 100 in fact i'm gonna offset it 200 so that it shows up right there at the bottom bottom and then now what i'm going to be distributing um, i'm going to be distributing in elevation in elevation mode so control u to multiply and then i want to spread this now the spread that i want to create is going to be uh 200 in between and i'm going to select the elevate elevate and then when i click and drag it goes up with it uh, i don't know this is a bit uh, sort of like i don't like it personally um so let's try another try another side let's go to or oh, i was supposed to go 150 not 250 there you go so even that is a bit uh, sort of like uh, i don't know if that would block a lot of sunshine so let's go back at it again control u uh let's go for 100 try that again there you go that's a bit that's better but actually uh control t I want the thickness i can set it up here i don't have to go to uh, settings uh, for this one let's try 75 so that it's thicker so that when the, sh uh, the sun sunlight comes in it doesn't sort of like uh just passes through it so i want it to be so, sort of like some vertical uh in a horizontal format so that it can catch the sunlight and prevent it from like passing through uh most of it obviously because it's not gonna cover the whole amount of sunshine so 100 and then i can uh, go to 3d and elevate it and there you go we have the side uh these these are the two sides here one and two and then that's the back for me uh, now what i want to do is i want to do the top section and i want it to go across here so i can i can uh, go to my I'm gonna control up to go to the next floor up and what I want to do is I want to select this one uh, so alt G to suspend the grouping and then control shift D to drag a copy to the center so that's the center right there and I don't want it to attach so I'm just gonna move it from there and there and uh, this one is going to be uh, the height is going to be 75 and then the thickness is going to be 25 and go to 3d see if it's set properly yep it's set properly and then the distance in between so i can go to shift 2 to go back to plan view uh, control u to do the multiplication and then I want to spread it 100 each so control u once again and then obviously it's still in elevation so i'm gonna go to drive mode let's just uh, see it in 3d okay so it's still in elevation for some reason uh, so go back to 3d ah it's still there go back to 3d go back to 2d control u to spread and then oh, another thing is i'm realizing right now a vertical displacement is going to be zero maybe that's why so i'm gonna say okay and then spread it again one direction is that a bit too much no nah, that probably is a bit too much control u let's make it 200 for this one i have a good reason for why i'm doing that right so i can just control g to group them and then control shift uh, m to mirror a copy to the other side and uh, yes when i unsuspend control g the grouping i can select them all and then 
group demos again so basically that's the simple shape that i want but now here comes the nitty gritty uh so you know this sort of like sheet uh, that sort of like covers uh the the this uh, uh this type of structure uh i want to sort of like edit in uh in this type of format obviously i can't do that in archicad maybe i can it's just that it's gonna take longer so i want to do something of this type of element uh, on this sort of like daybed so i can just go back to the daybed to my uh to my drawing uh, for this one actually what i want to do is i'm going to go down to the blend view and then i'm going to create a section and the section is i'm going to cut a section through here and there you go and i'm going to set the section to gonna go to my, uh, my projects section and i'm going to say show is a trace reference Go show as a trace reference, and then uh, there are ways to set this up. In fact, it's okay the way it is, but uh, I don't want it to be over my drawing right now. What I want to do right now is I want to move it so uh, Alt F2 or just go to this icon right here, click the drop down menu, uh, trace and reference is gonna pop up this window, window for you, and then you can set up how you can use this sort of like uh, drag and it's going to be dragging the actual uh, sort of like traced information okay i don't know what is happening right now okay so let's try that one one more time so i can just move this to right there okay so it's not moving so uh, i need to do the drag reference rather because this is sort of like a temporary one yeah temporary display display a reference uh, display only and this one is sort of like a permanent uh, drag reference so i'm gonna drag this reference up to that high point right there and what i want to do right now is i want to do sort of like the sheet uh that's going to be covering the uh this purple type structure and I'm going to be using the uh, shell tool for this one and I'm going to be using the construction method uh, detailed and then I'm going to be using the simple structure and uh, also I want to set it up to be the same as everything else so it's pretty drafting layer and uh, the thickness uh, let's make it uh, one millimeter thickness and uh, the offset from the ground is going to be zero for this one and um, what else do I, I want to show here um, while well, I'm still here so uh, the color is just going to be a white color so I'm gonna link this and set it up to be a bit of white loss I can even go for the texture actually uh, texture no I don't have sort of like a white texture here uh, leather mm, okay mm. so I don't have sort of like a white texture anywhere here so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use uh, this textile is that, a, is that a tile or is it just textile I'm not really sure I'm gonna use this textile uh, it really doesn't matter at the moment uh, what it is so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna set up the parameters for where I want how I want this to actually look so I can go one you know, just do something like this uh, it really doesn't matter how I'm doing it right now so I can always fix it later so this is just a there you go and then the extrusion uh, height extrusion is going to be uh, 11111 double one double one and there you go go to 3d and then i have my form structure right there 
fact, I want to set it. I'm gonna I'm gonna click this, and then I'm going to go to um, Control T for the settings. I think it's actually fine where it is, so I'm just gonna leave this here for now. And then what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to start sort of like uh, make it sort of like curvy so that it doesn't uh, look like it's a, a this is a terrible looking object right now. It's sort of like rigid, so I want to make it a bit more, you know, a bit more sort of like. Uh, What's the right word that I'm looking for? A little more organic. That's the right word. So what you can do if you want to make it sort of like more organic is you can always, you know, uh, drag this and then curve the edges. Curve the edge right here. Just give it a slight curve so that it looks a bit more organic and give it here. You can do the same thing. Just a little bit, yeah, not much, just a teeny weeny. So yeah guys I'm done sort of like trying to make this uh, uh, sort of like thing work so what I want to do now is I want to flip it uh, so that it, uh, it works out the way I want it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click it and then I'm gonna say Control E to rotate and then I'm going to select a point from which I want to rotate it from and then I'm going to go to vertical plane and then it's showing me sort of like uh, now it's vertical as you can see right here and then I'm gonna click it again to change direction and then I'm gonna uh, hold shift so that I can now control which sort of like direction I want to flip it in click that and then rotate it once I get that line and I'm 90 degrees within that line I'm gonna hold shift so that I don't make a mistake when I click and that's that's how it, and that's how it works basically. And then I can go to 2D layout, and then maybe actually let's just go to the 3D layout so that we can set it up nicely. So I know that this point is in line. Okay. That point right there. Yes. Actually, I wanna go back just a little bit. So I want to actually rotate a copy then to rotate this all at once so i can just do that 90 degrees hold shift rotate it like that and then go to the sectional elevation drag it to the right point from there to uh to right there i think that's good enough what i want to do also while i'm here i want to delete that that and uh, go to the 2d flow layout uh, I think it's on yeah right here so now I'm gonna move it into place so that's the first one I can even sort of like drag it to make it a bit longer uh, so uh, that direction and then that direction and there you go that's one of them so let's do a second one right now so I'm gonna go to this flow plane layout and then I'm gonna go to the uh, control up to go to the next flow where, where which is where I'm actually drafting this from and then I'm just gonna make it sort of like a random one different from the previous one that I made so see you a little bit mm -hmm. 
Alright guys, I'm done with this portion. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go back to the uh, 3D floor layout and then I'm going to rot rotate this one now and then I'll control E for the rotate I'm actually on the right plane. Click D and then I'm gonna go to the floor plane layout uh, to move it into place. And then I'm gonna drag it into the this area right here um, go, do I have it in the right position okay section sectional elevation oh so this one is actually a bit behind so what I can do is I can move the whole section so at that point So that I can get a glimpse of it, and then move it into place also. And uh, did I make any mistakes? Yes, I think I have uh, made just a teeny weeny mistake here by moving that, so I can just move it back into place also. Uh, drag it down just a little bit to that point and go to 3d low layout go to the ground floor layout where it's actually showing and then i can just drag it drag the edges so that it's a bit wider than, than the original and then I'm going to go to 3D. What I'm going to do in 3D actually, uh, now that I'm looking at it, I don't want it. I want it sort of like to be sort of like uh, random. So I, I can make this part, this part sort of like shorter. Yeah. And then I can make it this side just a little bit longer. So that it looks sort of like somehow generic because I mean what would I know I think I'm happy with this I'm gonna select this uh, it's the right layer actually I don't like this type of texture so I'm just gonna go for a simple straight uh, white glossy or titanium white titanium white I think this is I think this is okay and then since we're done here now I'm gonna just uh, create a platform for it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, now going to set the reference plane location the other the other way around and I want to use a concrete plane Concrete 2 and then the thickness can be um, 300, yeah, 300. And then the offset, oh yeah, offset, that's how I want it. So concrete 2, I don't like it, so let's go to concrete 4 and then just make it a little bit wider. So what we can do is we can select one of the edges. And then we can offset all edges at the same time. Love Archicad for that. And there you go. We're done. And then the only thing you can do, because this is just a structure on its own, <laughs> the next thing you can do is uh, okay, I'm already on the ground floor. Uh, I think I want this to only show on the second floor, which is where I drew it. Uh, I want it to be a uh, home story only. So you can click here, home story only. And then uh, it's telling me that it's going, it's not going to show, so I want it to continue. When I go to the first floor, la first floor layout, there it is. So that on ground floor layout, I just have a clean slate. I can switch this off, hide selected layer, so it's gonna isolate this layer and it's gonna hide it right now. And what I want to add is I want to add a, so I'm gonna use the same type of layer, a 3D drafting. 3D, and then I want to get actually a fold. 
so let me see if we can actually get a day bed from online day bed I guess not let's say bed uh, I get a list of beds here uh, let me see if there it is. Okay, let's just go to bed right there and you can select which type of bed I think I would like to show in here and it's now pulling in some information from online there are some beds online look at this there is actually a, a, a dandy bed <laughs> I don't know what that is that's a dandy bed Whatever that is, it seems like it, it actually looks similar to what we are creating right now. So, uh, oh, there's actually a lot of beds. I never knew this actually. I've never actually tried to uh, select a bed. Ah, this is actually one of the beds I've used on, on one of the projects. It's actually, uh, it's actually quite interesting. Okay, um, I've seen everything that I want to know. I'm just going to select this one and then I'm going to work around it. I'm going to place it in here. What I want to do is I want the DVD. I want the, let's go to the next one. Do I have it all wrong? Or I can't, I can't remove the side. Can move these things on the side. Can I not remove them? Headboard, headboard, switch the headboard off. So, what you can do if you want to see exactly what uh, these settings are affecting, you can switch to 3D over here. Uh, headboard, and then uh, leg. Frame. Yeah, I want a frame instead of a leg. So I want that type of frame, and I want that frame to be at least 250. So just a bit lower. The drawers. Actually, let's select a whole different thing because now what it's doing is that I can't remove those side tables uh, as part of the bed. Uh, so what I want to do is I'm going to select this double bed right now and uh, it starts off with the headboard obviously. I want to remove the headboard uh, but now let's select this one. It's the same thing actually. Okay, now I'm, now I'm all over the place. Okay, let's select that now the bed the, the headboard is removed and then the it's a frame right now the support type the support structure it's a frame and uh we go to the next information and uh, 2d 3d information The one thing that's missing, I would like to see some pillows over there. So let's see where I can get some pillows right now. Headboard. Ah, there you go. I think it's pillow, pillow right there. So I can switch the pillow on. And it's also using titanium white. So. There you go. There you go. We got some two pillows over there. Frame structure is going to be 250. I like that. What else? Uh, can I? The mattress. I want the mattress to just be a little bit thicker, so the height can be 250 as well. Can't do. Doesn't matter the symbol. The symbol right now. 
but can't be used to drag the edge to here. Drag this edge to here. And drag that edge to, to the air. Go to 3D and then there you go. This is a simple day bed, uh, so whenever you want to come in here, you can just move around, uh, step in here, and everything like that, and you are in your day bed. So this is sort of like uh, elements that are just indicating that this is a day bed, the two pillows, you don't even have to put them in, but I like the way it is right now. So uh, that's it for me, Richman. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video that I created for you, and this information that I created for you. I hope you're getting a lot of uh, valuable information from all the videos that I'm providing here at uh, Studio 39 Design Studio. Uh, let me know what you want to see in the comment section below. Like, comment, and subscribe. Because I'll be doing videos like this every week. Love you guys. God bless you and goodbye.